here on the uh, on the side. Thank you. So usual um, protocol for the photographs, we have site code, context number and which direction north is and also a scale. Yeah, a little shadow in that top corner, that's gonna be grand. Okay. What did we work out? Was it about 600 litres in 10 minutes was coming in or something? Yes, a lot. Well, well, um, as you can see, no. um, we're still struggling to keep up with rising groundwater and um, as we've got lower down, it's become apparent that I think what we're dealing with was originally a well as it's sited directly on top of a spring. And when we get the water out, you can see the water bubbling in from below and it comes in about a foot in about 10 minutes. So it's coming in very quickly. So a timber line structure seems more sensible for a long-term feature like a well. So the latest theory goes that you have a large well for fairly industrious purposes. Um, and as the sides start to collapse and it becomes unmanageable, it's then um, used for disposal of cess. The wattle revetment that we have surviving here is um, really, it's in good condition, but still very delicate. So um, rather than going at it with a trowel, which just seems to do more damage than good, a quick um, wash with the garden spray seems to do the trick quite nicely. And you can see the construction quite clearly with the um, horizontal words around the um, vertical posts. So I just want a nice section of rod one then, right? Yep, yeah, nice section of rod one. Which oh, I feel really bad. <laughs> uh, here we go, here's the uh, bag. Yes. It is fairly robust. Okay, I'm just going to mark on my sketch elevation exactly where the rod one is. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. So. On the floor, We're still. taking that one first. Yeah, I'll take that one now. Yep. This is quite interesting. The, the fibrous material you can see on the outside here is uh, some remnants of the uh, moss used to wipe um, medieval bottoms. Uh, there we go. So there's uh, the remnants of the upright. Cut marks on the base. I think it might have broke. <laughs> these ones are quite small. These secondary uprights. Quite nice. Oh dear me. That's unfortunate. Yep. Things happen. Well. <laughs> All right, well that's the last of the timbers removed from um, the area we've been able to investigate. Unfortunately, we can go no deeper now um, due to obvious um, issues of health and safety. It's also nice to note that um, the second we've taken the revetment out, half the edge has collapsed, so it was still working after about 800 years. So that's quite impressive.